Welcome everybody to another episode of All About Animals. Today we're going to be learning all about axolotls. Axolotls can be found in freshwater lakes and ponds. They live solely in Mexico, although people do keep them as pets in other places and they have been found in aquariums. Axolotls like to eat worms, tadpoles, insects, and small fish. Axolotls are eaten by birds such as storks and herons and large fish like carp and tilapia. They have a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. They are between 6 and 18 inches and weigh between 2 and 8 ounces. They come in different colors like white, pink, and dark brown. They do have some unique features like their teeth which are shaped like cones and their teeth actually suck in their prey like a vacuum which is pretty cool they actually suck in gravel too which helps break down their meal and their teeth are very sharp almost like claws okay to aid them in avoiding predators they are able to metamorphose so that they use their lungs instead of their gills which allows them to leave very toxic waters and avoid predators that are trying to eat them. Here's some fascinating facts about axolotls. Axolotls have an astonishing ability to regenerate body organs and lost limbs. The regenerative abilities of this animal's cells are of significant interest to researchers hoping to translate this ability to humans so they're studying them so maybe one day we can end up being more like the axolotl and grow our body parts back. The feathery looking branches that extend from either side of its head are its gills. The word axolotl comes from the ancient Aztecs who revered them, that means they love them, and translates to mean water dog. After the eggs are safely deposited, there is no further parental involvement. When the eggs hatch after 10 to 14 days, the young axolotl are on their own. Don't worry, the female lays a ton of eggs, between 100 to 300, I've seen upwards to 1,000, so that they have a good shot at survival. Axolotls look like babies for their entire lives. Axolotls are neotenic creatures, meaning they achieve maturity without losing any of their larval features, so they always look like their youngsters. And a bonus fact, they're actually nicknamed the Mexican walking fish, although they're not fish, they're amphibians. Thanks for watching All About Animals. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check out. Please leave a comment if you'd like me to do a video on an animal that you really want to know all about. Thanks for watching.